Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm sitting here, I've already filmed the first half of this video, but you know, I didn't turn the mic on. So now we're here for the second part, and uh, I've had such a long day, like I was sitting all day in the office for like 12 hours, getting yelled at on the phone for absolutely no reason, and all I could think was, my God, I wish I was filming right now. That is what has led me to you right now. I have had a long day, I'm ready to just sit here and talk about things that are going to be released on the internet. I decided after looking at Trend Mood's page over on Instagram, girl, I have some opinions that I need to share. So let's go ahead and kick everything off here with the new ABH and Norvina palette release, because I have some opinions. Opinion. I feel some kind of way about this. So let me just, I'm just going to put it down. I'm going to go ahead and start this off by saying, did I pick up the palettes? Yes, I did. Now, I picked them up because as a reviewer, a ton of you guys wanted me to. You wanted to know how the color story looks, how do they work on my skin, do I like the way they blend, are they consistent from one to two to three, so on and so forth. But for me, that little review business, that has nothing to do with this. Let's just move that out of the way. I am more frustrated than anything when it comes to ABH because I swear to you, I'm just going to say it, they remind me of ColourPop. I feel like that's all they are now. And I feel so disheartened by this because ABH was that brand for me. I had so much respect for them. The way that they would release things, their colors, their formulas, their palettes, everything was so beautiful and so curated and they would always put like three or four months in between and they would always make it such an easy palette but something that was so beautiful and something that a consumer could get so much use out of before they dare release another one and I'm just like I do not understand and yes I know there was like this explanation as to why and da 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 but for me that has nothing to do with it and it has everything to do with either greed or trying to just drive a business based solely on turnover and more product and production and production. But when it came to them, I never saw them that way. I always saw them as something that was just a little more than that, something that had a little bit more beauty and regal and just character to it. And now I just feel like this whole palette, 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 I feel like they've cheapened their own brand to the point where I'm almost not interested and that breaks my heart because I love ABH so much. Like their quality, amazing. And I feel all also really bad by the way for like their Jackie Ina palette that palette absolutely amazing it was so beautiful the pigmentation the colors like I seriously did not put that palette down for the longest time I thought it was so beautiful and just everything about it was amazing but it had its little spot in the Sun for like seven seconds and then boom it's over like we're on to another palette and then another and now it's to the point where we're not even gonna release one at a time apparently we're releasing two at a time like what what is this I just Oh my god. And it just makes me so mad because you're not only cheapening your own brand, at least for somebody like me, but you're also creating more of that consumer driven, bye bye bye, I need everything, I need everything. You're creating so much of that so unnecessarily. And then I also heard this whole like, oh well they were supposed to release at this time and then this time and then blah blah blah. And again, I understand like from a business perspective sometimes things happen or you know this launch gets pushed back or this or that, but like they're just there's no reason to be releasing palettes literally that close to each other so much so that you double up and launch two at the same time and I think for me another huge part of this too is watching this brand that I used to hold in such high regard and high esteem it's the strategy of it that's gone too like there is a beauty and a curation and a strategy to everything that goes in to making makeup and making a palette and really creating it from scratch and watching all of that in my opinion just whoo get tossed out the window as you just replace all of that creativity and again that strategy with just color 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 palette color 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 palette like there isn't anything nearly as beautiful about that like yes you can make an amazing palette and yes the formula can be amazing but you've taken away the element that made it so creative you went from being someone like a photographer that goes out and you wait in the woods to get that beautiful picture of the deer or that you know beautiful sunlight or whatever it is that you're trying to get you went from that to like a Walmart I make a thousand of the same print type photo. And I don't know if it's just me, you guys can tell me down below if you feel the same way, but like I was just so sad to see ABH go this route because I truly expected more just from the creative side. And who knows, maybe they could start spacing them out. Like maybe they get enough backlash that they're like, hey, calm down. You know, we need to, we need to really roll this back and think about who we are. But my biggest fear when a company starts doing this is that the money that's rolling in from it, because ultimately more products, you have a larger cash influx. They like that. They like having more turnover, more rollover money. And my biggest biggest fear is that they see the money and then that part of it takes over and then before you know it they're just kicking out product 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 and literally every week we have kind of a color pop situation where you're just constantly releasing more stuff okay so I just went ahead and I'm interrupting myself I'm ending that conversation I'm starting a new one because I will sit here on this little gerbil wheel of the and talking about the same thing for no reason for like 20 minutes so we're just gonna move on past that now we're gonna move on to another post and this is also a horse that I'm just like oh honey let her die in peace Kat Von D 
why do we keep diving into this Lolita thing? Why is this still happening? Why is Lolita? Yes, it's beautiful. The color story is great. Like the palette looks pretty. Okay. It looks pretty. It doesn't look new. It doesn't look revolutionary. It literally looks like every single other freaking palette when it has come to this Lolita thing. I am so, okay. I'm going to say it. I said it once. I'll say it again. Lolita's pretty. It's a pretty color, but it is not something that you design like a dynasty around. Like everything we do is Lolita, Lolita 2, Lolita 3. We have a lipstick. We have a blush. Everything is Lolita. And like, I, I really thought like, hello, Kat D, this train is over. Can you tell I'm getting heated? My hands are flying. I feel like I'm going to wear this coffee. Guys, this Lolita thing, I'm just like, why is this happening over and over? Like, are you so <clears throat> that you can't come up with something else? Like anything. Lolita. Okay, Lolita. Could you just maybe name it like Polita or something? Like I just, I need something else. I need you to just, just, just take another tech at the world. There are so many things you could look at and find inspiration. You don't got to look at something that's already just, you know, been inspiration for like seven years. Like we could just, we could go somewhere with this. I guys, I don't know. I'm just, I absolutely will not pick this up. Number one, um, everything I just said. Number two, um, it's all stuff that I already have. I don't feel it's unique in any way, shape, or form. I don't think it would complement my uh, collection, and um, I'm just over it. So, pass. Something we can touch on that I am so passionate about, this little um, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson little pig mirror. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Will I pick that up? Yes. I, if I, if I can get my hands on it. Truth be told, guys, I don't know if anybody's hardly going to be able to purchase anything from this collection because it is going to sell out like, like, I'm talking faster than me unbuttoning my pants at an all-you-can-eat buffet, honey. This collection will disappear just like my self-esteem. I do not see this going well as far as me purchasing, but if I can get my hands on this pig mirror, <laughs> absolutely I will because I love it. Like, I would love to put my makeup on with a pig mirror so, so much. All right, so real quick, we're going to touch on something that makes... I just need to take a drink. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm back. I'm good. Let's do it. Going into this one, honey, I will get hurt if I don't put that coffee down because I need both hands to talk. Let's discuss this ColourPop Pretty Fresh fresh tinted moisturizer thing. So did I pick it up? Yes, I did. Yet again, that is not the question at hand. I am so annoyed at the fact, and I'm just, you know what? This probably isn't even the video for this because I just told you I picked it up, but I'm I'm just going to say it anyways. Why is it ColourPop launches so much stuff, right? They they launch a palette every week. They have a new product launching every four days, it seems like. And for whatever reason, do you ever notice that those products can't ship? Like, why who, Why is it that I don't care if it's makeup brands, skincare, stuff around you. Like, I don't care what it is. When someone or some brand or something constantly wants to put out product over and over and over again, but they do not come up with any way to make sure that they are able to fulfill their orders in a timely fashion it drives me I, I cannot express to you the level as you can tell like of absolute irate feeling that I have on this subject because to me all I keep thinking is maybe instead of like focusing on pumping out product and like taking your consumers money maybe you should like shift your focus just a little bit toward I don't know like servicing them in a nice way like taking care of them making sure that their shipping is met that stuff is packaged nicely that things are arriving the way that they should and for a quality product like represent yourself nicely on both sides of the wall or don't do it at all and it drives me insane and again like I said I already ordered this foundation moisturizer thing because I want to do a video on it for you guys. I've been playing around with the other tinted moisturizer things and I really thought this one would be a cool one to take a look at. So I ordered this on the 26th, the day that it launched. It still has not shipped and they sent me an email because I ordered it with two day shipping because they had your standard shipping, which we all know through ColourPop is like seven years. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pay two day shipping. I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm going to do it. It'll be fine. I paid two day shipping. They sent me an email now that it's been a week later and they still haven't shipped it. And they're like, oh, we're just going to refund that for you because it's not going to ship, but we think it's going to ship here in like the next week or so. What? Like, I understand that big launches happen and that it can really derail things and whatnot, but you knew, first of all, that this was going to be a big launch. Like, you had a lot of anticipation going into this. You knew this was going to be successful, number one. Number two, you also know that your shipping by default takes forever, so why on earth would you not be better prepared for this? Like, I just... I do not understand and it, it's just like a pet peeve of mine like this is one of those things I could do a full video <laughs> you could tell me do you guys want to see this I could do a full video on my pet peeves that I have with this industry and this is one of them when they are so worried about taking your money for you to order something but not about actually getting it to you in a timely fashion it makes me absolutely insane. I just want to throw it out there. Like it has nothing to do with the product or will I or will I not pick it up because I already answered that but just like from a logistical perspective it makes me just 
Oh, crazy. Oh, so here's another fun one. This is a Too Faced release, and this is their Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice makeup set, and I believe it's releasing only to HSN. Guys, I look at this, and I just... I, 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 do, I do not understand. First of all, why are we still trying to ride this pumpkin spice thing? Like, I'm starting to get very strange Lolita vibes already from this Too Faced pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Extra spicy, extra crispy. Do you want fries with that? Like, I just... Huh, I'm not... I'm not getting it, number one. Number two, this palette... It's a neutral palette. Why can't you just stick with your original pumpkin spice? And I know it's like getting released to HSN, so maybe they're trying to hit a different demographic or a different market or whatever. But I look at this, the first thing I see when I look at this palette, the first thing, not even the colors. I whiz right by the colors at the giant gaps in between all the palettes. I look at this and I'm like, you literally could have made this palette that is this big, this big, just by putting them a little closer together. And that's just the first thing. And then I do look at the colors and I'm like, what? Absolutely not. This is not pumpkin spice and everything nice. This is neutral, neutral with some more orange, neutral, nice. And uh, yeah, sure, it's nice, but that's all it is. And I just, I can't pass. Oh my God, pass. Now, another one that I do want to touch on really quickly is something a bunch of you guys have asked me about. And that is, of course, the new Lunar Beauty launch for Halloween. And I am really excited about this. I love that he chose to come out with this. Huge congratulations to man by the way his makeup like his formula is so so good his glosses his lipsticks he does such a beautiful job so if you guys have never checked out lunar beauty first of all highly recommend second of all i do plan on doing a review of this i'm not sure when his pr goes out or if i'm still on the list but last time i checked i was and uh, he sent me his last couple of collections to test out and do reviews on and first of all i really appreciate it second of all girl Girl, they are fantastic so as long as it shows up on time I would love to do a review for you guys obviously we talk about consistency quality um swatches makeup looks all the good stuff you guys know the drill um so again as long as it gets here I would love 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 to do that and for those of you that don't know or haven't heard the launch for this entire collection is actually October 4th at 10 a.m. on his website but I know he's also in several other online retailers both United States and outside of the U.S. so something to check out if you are curious but for me I think it looks so cute and I really like the color story for a Halloween palette. I like that he didn't just go with like your basic like spooky black and spooky orange. Like he's doing like a nice bright pop of color. There's like some blue, some purple. And I really just like that take on it because I feel like it's something different for this time of year. Again, most people go with like that standard orange or black or like they try to go a spooky route. And instead he took like some brightness and some fun little pops of color and kind of mingled it all together. And I feel like he made more of a fun Halloween-esque palette and not just like a every day like this is what we always see and I have a lot of respect for that I really like it girl that red lip honey mm-hmm yes red lip mm Manny boy can pull a red lip I don't care what anybody says oh so good okay guys so a couple of things number one I just sat here and talked to myself for no reason because the battery died super fun second thing I don't know what happened but I'm not the same color that I was 12 seconds ago I don't know how to fix it and I just I, I don't care to so I'm just gonna keep talking but just so you guys know if the color changed a little bit if if I miss something like let's just all calm down and relax and enjoy our lives. I just rolled over top of the NARS 2019 holiday collection and I have so many thoughts and opinions so let me just dive in right there but I just wanted you guys to know if things look different or they look weird like I'm sorry but it is what it is. Now let's just talk about NARS okay real quick. First of all am I the only one when it comes to NARS that I feel like everything is the same? Year after year, collection after collection, I feel like it's always the same type of packaging. It's always black with a little pop of color. Their eyeshadow palettes are always like mostly neutral in some way or another with like a little hint of color or like a soft pop of pink or something. But it's always the same idea, the same ask. Their face palettes, same thing. And I'm just like so over it I can't even function like I look at their collection for Christmas and there's a couple areas where I'm like okay that's a little Christmassy like this little red palette that I'm looking at here it's got like the red top to it it has some glitters in there I'm like okay that one's kind of holiday-esque like I can see the inspiration but then I look over at this purple palette and I'm like what even is this like it's literally all neutrals with a little pop of purple a little apricot pink and a little baby pink the rest of them are neutral First of all, that don't scream holiday to me. Second of all, that does not scream it, like, like anything I don't already have. Like, I just, I do not get it. And then even like all of their little lipsticks, I'm like, no, you guys have literally come out with these a thousand times. All you're doing is saying, okay, I'm going to take these same four products that we already have, we already make, we already distribute, and I'm going to put them in this really pretty purple box. And that's going to be Christmas. What? No. I just, oh my God. And it's just to sell stuff. And it drives me absolutely crazy. Like, I don't look at that and feel driven to purchase anything. I don't look at this and go like, wow, that would be an awesome gift for someone. Wow. I feel like that's missing from, I look at that and I'm like, 
Wow, they found a new color box to put their stuff in. Excellent. And if that doesn't get me forever off of that PR list, I don't know what will. Let's move on. Let's <laughs> see what else we can do here. What other damage is there? Ooh, pick me, pick me, guys. I just got, I just got so excited. So new from Juvia's Place are going to be their stick foundations. Absolutely, yes, I am so on board. So their uh, liquid foundation, I, I didn't like it. It didn't work for me. Uh, neither did the concealer. But stick foundation, first of all, you guys know, I love testing foundations. It's like my thing. It's just what I love about life. Oh, it gives me like life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of all things cake face. I love it so much. And I just could not be more excited to apply all of that love, lust, and happiness to this collection. It says that this is going to be creamy, easily blendable, and hydrating formula, contour, conceal, highlight to perfection with a creamy natural finish for all skin types in 30 shades, 16 bucks a piece. Take my money. Yes, please. Like I am Clearly, I'm very excited about this. I think that when it comes to Juvia's Place, what you get, even if the concealer and that foundation didn't work for me, I don't care. They are one of those brands that is so beautiful, so thought out. Their price points are fantastic. Their eyeshadows are amazing. Like, if you're ever on their website and you're like, wow, that palette's really pretty and it's on sale, just like buy it. Like, you don't even need to think about it. I have never tried a Juvia's Place palette or a collection or a shadow where everything was not on point, whether it's pigmentation, blendability, whatever. For what you get from Juvia's Place, they are so, so amazing. Overall, the brand, I just love their aesthetic. I love the way that they are so inspired and so thoughtful. And I just, oh, yes, I live. And I'm so, I'm so gonna test that out. Like, absolutely testing it out. Air conditioning just shut off and I need it to turn back on because I am getting heated up in here. Okay, so let's discuss the Stila Holiday 2019 collection. Oh, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Because these colors aren't like, I just, oh my God, queen of dramatic, but seriously, I, I look at this collection and I'm just absolutely shook to the core that they thought this was a good decision. First of all, this little palette, pop of blue effect. Cover up the blue, you literally have neutral, neutral, shiny, neutral, shinier, neutral, white, shiny, neutral. Wow, cool story, bro. No thank you, next. Now don't get me wrong, when it comes to their little collector kits of the um, glitter and glow liquid shadows and that sort of thing, I do love their glitter and glow liquid shadows. So don't get me wrong, I don't have any issues with those, but I have had issues in the past with their little kit size versions um, being super dry. Like I will receive them, take them out of the tube, and they are dry, literally from the moment I get them. They also do have a little set here of their liquid lipsticks. Now, I also don't like those because they're very drying on my lips. So when it comes to their gift sets, it's not even like a value thing. It's just like a, they don't work literally for me type thing. And then that little eyeshadow palette makes me <laughs> annoyed. So like, no thank you, move on. Like, Stila, do something. Just do, do something. Give me something, Stila, that isn't neutral. Ugh. But all right, you guys, that is it for this video. I could keep going. Believe me, I could keep going. As I'm sitting here scrolling through my phone, I'm just like, uh, uh, and I have so many thoughts and opinions, but I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think of the items I talked about in this video, of other items? And most importantly, this is a big one. I need you guys to weigh in. Do you want to see these videos more from me? Because truth be told, I love them so, so much. And I noticed that on a lot of other channels, they do these like every two weeks. And if that's something that you guys want to see from me every two weeks like we sit down I grab a cup of coffee or a Diet Coke with light eyes from McDonald's and we talk about what's coming up honey you let me know because I can make that happen because I truly with my whole heart and soul I love these videos I love getting to sit down and just be like like I want to tell you everything I want to tell you about that palette I want to tell you about that foundation and I just have so many opinions and I feel like if you guys want to hear them I would be more than happy to oblige so let me know down below do you like these types of videos and again any product that you are curious about or that I mentioned leave all of your thoughts on that as well and then let's not forget that you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel because you guys I do upload I do upload every single day, Monday through Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. That is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You are getting a new upload every single day talking about various things. New product, old product, products like this that haven't even happened yet. Some of them have. Just my thoughts and opinions in general, honey. I have so much to say. So be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Time for Paige to be done. Time for Paige to just put on her glasses that she never wears with makeup, even though it's so cute. See what a good mood talking about makeup does. Blue ska do weekend too. <laughs> Get it? Okay, no? Okay. I'm gonna go. I need help. Does that honestly say I have a rain alert? Like, do we alert for rain now? I have a nice little steaming cup of co 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 Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This... <laughs> so rude. I'm very busy. Now, this is something that... <laughs> go away.
also go away. Also, stay behind my ear. There's so many things happening. What?